Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we are just uh, plowing up uh, a couple of fields here. So, actually, probably I'm going to get this one, field 24, done in the video. But what we are doing is uh, basically what ended up happening is I ended up buying this field too. Uh, on top of buying this field, I bought this field because it had soybeans and I wanted some extra soybeans. So bought this one too for like 68,000. Um, I was a little short on cash, uh, and so uh, I ended up taking out a $25,000 loan. So to just kind of give me some wiggle room, because uh, uh, like I said, I was about 4,000 short, and then I wanted to have some extras. So. Yep, uh, that's, this is what we're doing. We're just uh, piling up this field, and I, as you can see, I, I made it uh, expanded wider, or I'm working on it here. So, I got off track there a little bit, so that's all right. I'll just uh, go on to go on this one here and pull that one on the way back. So. Looks like I missed a couple spots there as well. Wonder if it's gonna always miss that because there's a dip there. Hmm. Uh, but anyway, yep. So, uh, yep. So, pawn this field up. Uh, I want to start making. Uh, I'd like to start uh, on some other videos, but uh, gonna keep these uh, let's play videos going here for you. Uh, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing in my spare time uh, playing the game and whatnot, so you can follow along with me. Uh, if you uh, like these, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, your your comments and you know thoughts they're all they're always welcome as long as they're uh, you know constructive. Uh, I can take constructive criticism uh, definitely. So uh, as long as you're not uh, trying to shock it or nothing. So I'm always open to you know, hear new thoughts and ideas for sure, so. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get a little extra out of this field, seems how it was kind of small, so uh, piled that, piling this up, so make it a little more worthwhile, so. Um, I just thought we'd do a, a plow video here, I know I've been, uh, did a couple harvest videos and uh, what not, and I know the last one uh, a couple of weeks ago was a harvest video as well, so thought we'd get something different in here. So I've uh, been thinking about uh, a multiplayer server, I'd like to maybe get uh, some people on that uh, have time in the evening to play, so, um, but uh, if I'm going to spend the money I'd like to, you know, get some dedicated players for sure and not just, uh, you know, um, throw the money away for a month or two on, on a server, so uh, I really have to kind of drum up and uh, find some people if uh, that really want to play realistic as possible and you know be dedicated to playing uh, spending a few hours a night playing not on a multi-server so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, like I said I think it'd be a lot of fun uh, I know I'd have a lot of fun um, because I like to play realistic anyway so uh, with more people that like to play like me would be just uh, awesome I think so uh, and if they if they do some modding on the side that'd be great uh, as well then we can all kind of pull our mods together and have some unique mods uh, that'd be cool uh, but if not I mean I'm down to play with whoever so uh, I'll have to maybe try to find some people see who's interested in that but I think that could be fun so Maybe make a post or two about it and see if I can find some r people that are interested in that. So and are willing to dedicate the time. That's the I think going to be the issue is people that are actually willing to dedicate the time to play on the server at least a couple hours a night, at least during the week. So 
because I don't I don't tend to play much on the weekends. Uh, I kind of do uh, real life stuff, so that's kind of uh, my um, time away for myself. So. tricky sometimes I think what I'll end up doing instead of going back over those every time I'll just uh, make a couple of passes in that ditch um, when I'm all done so probably shouldn't be farming that because that's a big waterway right there but oh well it probably just wash the crop away in real life so should have probably farmed around that I got it tore up now, so. I think I got a good extra, at least quarter of a, a hectare out of expanding that ground maybe maybe not quite a quarter maybe like two tenths so um, you know that's it's I don't know if that's 100% feasible but I don't know we, we did it anyway so because it's really only like a half an acre if it's only if it's like two tenths it's only like a half an acre so but uh, you know that's more crop we can get so Pretty sure this field was over two acres. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was. So when I bought it, nah, maybe it was under because it was only like sixty-eight thousand. So it was probably only like an acre, and uh, maybe like one point two hectares. I think um, that sounds about right. Um, so, but. Like I said, I have the soybeans on it, so I spent the money for it. Probably shouldn't have. I should have invested in like a bigger, bigger cedar or something. But oh well. If I got the ground bought, then the equipment will come eventually. Use the money off the first crop, and I can basically get some heavy equipment upgrades. I'll buy another tractor as well. I'm putting a lot of hours on this tractor. I've got s pretty much six and a half hours on this tractor already. So that's crazy considering I bought it like yesterday. In game one, in game day. So, and then it was like, I bought it at like four o'clock in the afternoon. So in less than, you know, 24 hours uh, in, in you know, in game hours, I've put six and a half farm hours on it. Which is a lot. I like these narrow tires. Uh, I wish they weren't quite so small, but they're decent.
I was farming a lot in uh, third person. I usually farm uh, pretty much everything in first person, but I farmed a lot in third person so I could get all that field over there. Um, all that accurate uh, so I can look and make sure it was as close to everything as possible without farming like on the side of the rocks and stuff so uh, yeah I just like I said I when I'm normally farming I usually farm in first person all the time just feels better like I'm actually driving instead of watching somebody And I know like the uh, implement uh, icon down in the lower right hand corner shows that it's the implement moves up and down but I just have a habit of looking back so just turn that off because I don't need it except for when I'm harvesting. So yeah, I pretty much still got all of 23, yeah, all of 23 to plow to, and it's a pretty big field, so it'll take a little while. I'll probably have to do that um, in between videos, because this one's taking a while for sure. I think uh, it's pretty much going to be the entire video form of this one. so. But it's a change of pace, different uh, farming different so then basically now I can go back through here like this and just farm this a little bit up. Forgot to put my implement down. I like the release of the game, uh, as far as like, uh, just in general it was really buggy and still has some issues but uh, overall I feel like this is a, a vast improvement over um, 13 uh, I won't say 15 because um, really kinda liked a lot of things in 15 uh, not gonna see the soil mod uh, probably in this uh, in FS17 unless it's way down the road. Um, the manual ignition eh, for 17 doesn't work as good as 15 because in 15 like no matter if you tap through vehicles like they would always stay running. Uh, if you get far enough away in 17 they shut off anyway so that's really not manual ignition and it drives me nuts but whatever. S gotta give and take a little bit, I guess. We'll plot that up, and then we'll flip around.
So I'd really like to plant soybeans in this one again, just to see. Um, and normally I don't do that. Uh, I do crop rotation. Um, so I always plant something different and then what it was last time. Uh, and generally if it had um, like barley or wheat or um, canola, then I'll plant like corn or sunflowers. So I'm changing them each field, but uh, I think I'll plant soybeans in this one because I want to see how much more um, I'm gaining out of my soybeans because I had just over, um, I had like 8,800 for um, just over one combine full of grain. One one bin, so um, I want to see how full, how much more I'm going to gain by doing all this, so how much more of the hopper will be filled in the combine. So I think I'll plant soybeans on this one again, just to, just to see the difference in what I've gained. Because it does take a little longer to, uh, to pile this up and I guess harvest it, I guess in general. Because um, you have to go around manually a couple of times um, before you could even hire a worker and then not like the hired worker would get stuck on those field up there. So when you, when you customize the field most of the time uh, you have to harvest it yourself, especially with uh, no curse play available. Or course play, curse play. Been playing that other game too much using curse. So yeah, with no course play available, it'll basically all manual, which is why I'm really looking into a multiplayer server this uh, this this go round. Uh, really, really want to get into that multiplayer server and get some, you know, three or four, five, even up to six people uh, involved uh, in uh, some farming operations. So, and we'll start out with some basic equipment and go from there. But uh, they've really got to be get dedicated if I'm gonna spend the money. So, uh, I guess if you guys are interested in something like that, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, if uh, you guys are interested in something like that and would want to do that uh, also, just uh, feel free to, you know, basically um, tell people about my channel, let, uh, you know, let them know that I've got some pretty uh, good modding tutorials out there, and uh, uh, just to share, share the information. If you guys are wanting to see something, I will try to implement it, but uh, yeah, just uh, put all that in the comments down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook uh, so you can stay up to date on what I'm doing uh, and the likes. So, yep, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.